I was the head of the largest business unit at Vodafone, their headquarters in Newbury between 2014, 2013 through to 2015. Um, I was privy to a number of the new technologies that were coming down the pipe that was going to be implemented, naming the, the Internet of Things and secondly, the 5G technology. I knew a long time ago that 5G was dangerous, but I didn't understand the correlation with the coronavirus, which I now do. And I want to be able to explain that to you. So what is happening? Um, there is a deliberate strategy to roll out 5G, which is the fifth generation internet um, radio spectrum frequencies that enable mobile phones, smartphones and all devices to function on a much faster processing ability. And with the introduction of AI and artificial intelligence and the internet of things where all devices will be connected, so whether it's your car, whether it's your phone, whether it's your fridge refrigerator, whether it's your electricity in your house, it's all going to be on a smart grid effectively a type of matrix, unfortunately. Sorry to use that term. So what is happening is that this technology has to be rolled out globally. My company that I used to work for in the, as they're running their largest worldwide business unit um, is Vodafone. Vodafone are in partnership with Huawei or Huawei, whatever you call them, a Chinese telecoms company. And they have been rolling out systematic 5G implementation in multiple locations. What's the relevance? The frequency that they're using, and I also ran a telecoms company back in 2010 through to 2013, 14, some of you will be aware, that specialized in radio spectrum, that we, this is the ability to take external signals from satellites into buildings. Um, and so that the frequency that you experience in power on your phone is the same in the building as it is outside of the building. When mobile networks were created initially, they thought people will be on the road all the time, hence why they were called mobile phones. But actually what happened is people used their mobile phones in buildings and the signal wasn't strong enough to, pen to penetrate buildings. That's called radio spectrum. And they're different um, megahertz frequencies, etc. So. The 5G frequency is a very high frequency, very, very, very high frequency. It is just below the classification of a weapon. Uh, and I'll tell you why. The frequency that they're using, which is 10 times faster than 4G, unfortunately, when it comes into connection with human bodies, causes cell poisoning, cell poisoning. So our bodies try to fight the radiation that is in the form of cell poisoning because of this frequency. It is effectively radiation. And what happens is our bodies uh, kick out the toxicity or toxins with some pro proteins and some DNA, RNA from our cells in the form of a chemical, which is called a virus. So most diseases are excretions from cells that we are trying to pull out of our body or push out of our body. And it will head towards orifices to be excreted or ex um, expunged out of our body. So our noses or our mouths. So you can understand the picture I'm painting. So what's happening, sorry for the detail, but this is going to take a bit of time. What is happening is that um, 5G, the frequency and the power, which is 10 times more powerful than 4G, is reacting adversely with human cells, causing cells in our bodies to be poisoned, toxic, and our natural defense mechanism is pushing out that toxicity in the form of a virus. So what you're seeing is not coronavirus per se, you're seeing cell poisoning manifesting with fluids, chemicals, viruses that the body is trying to um, dispose of because it's harmful to its physical body. So all that's occurring around the world, and I hear your minds thinking, well, how can that be, Pastor? But I'll explain in a moment. All that's, recur all that's occurring in the world is a reaction to human